Hello everyone, this is Sitting on Computer Video Game Play. Well, hello everyone, this is Sitting on Computer Video Game Play, and I'm your host, 123 Fendus. Or rather, I forgot the one, I forgot the, the, the joke I was gonna do here at the beginning. Uh, I'm your host, The Clown, playing Pokemon White. What am I doing? Spring? It's not spring. Oh god. These usernames, I'm very, very afraid to see these. Uh, not the username, but rather nicknames of my Pokemon. This might not. If I this might be too cringe inducing to show on YouTube. Oh please, please, please. Um Ow Ah it hurts. Ah oh, my hands hurt. It hurts so bad. I hate this. I hate I hate my life. 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 I hate my life, I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life, 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 I hate my life. Uh is there a name raider in have I met the name raider yet? Castelia City. Now where is Castelia City? Castelia City. Have I been to Castelia City? Let's see if I have a map. Oh, gotta love that good old skip that Desmume does. Here we go, town map. Where have I been thus far? The blue ones. Ah, Castelia City. I have been to Castelia City. Now, man, I wonder, do I have... Do I have a, a flying... I don't have anyone who flies, right? But I do have a bicycle. This is so ridiculous. Am I really gonna bike over there just to change the nickname of this Vanillite? Am I really doing this right now? I guess I am. Okay, let me check the town map. Again. This is so ridiculous. Um, I don't even need to change this name. Well, I'm gonna change it anyway. So I don't care. Also, it's a bit more fitting. Kind of. Okay, so just go east and then south. Let me use my bicycle. Ah, it hurts so bad, it hurts. My hands hurt. Because of cutaneous solution applied. Or whatever it's called. Ah, this game sucks. Um, ah, it hurts so bad, it hurts so bad on my hands. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. It hurts, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Ah, this music is good. I don't remember... For some reason, this music is kind of like nostalgic. I'm not sure why though, because I never played this game. Uh, I guess people have used it in their videos on YouTube, I guess. Well, that was a quick uh, ride. Oh god. Oh what the frick. Oh god, he's gonna be in, in the front. And this game sucks. Ah, oh, this game sucks. Now I'm wondering what the best strategy would be for me to ha have his name pop up the least amount of times. If it would be best for me to switch it right now, which only requires you see it once, I guess. Or if I should just face the encounters. Man, the speed up sucks in... in ah, uh, this sucks so bad. I remember one time I played Pokemon... I think it was Black 2 and White, White 2 alongside my brother. And we played like a, I don't know, a Nuzlocke or a Randomized or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Am I in in the city now? Hell, even this music is kind of. I remember it. You see, I forgot to mention this. That that time I was lying in bed, which was actually yesterday. I was lying in bed in the morning, just listening to Pokemon music, and I could not recognize any of the of the city slash town music from from Pokemon X and Y. Like I couldn't recognize any of it. Oh, well, I could recognize some of it, but barely. That was such a surprise. I mean, I used to play Pokemon X. I was gonna tell you this. Um, at the north road of Castelia City in the left-hand building. I have a feeling that it's this building. Oh my... Okay, there's only one floor. Good. Or two. Uh, no, I, the, the name raider was not here. Oh my... No... Yeah, I was just gonna give you a little bit of a backstory. I think it was in 2013 that I played Pokemon X. Uh, oh, well, as far as back as, um, like, 2009 or so, I don't know. At some point there, I played po a little bit of Pokemon Heart Gold for, like, 20 minutes. And chose Totodile, so Totodile is my first Pokemon ever. <laughs> played for 20 minutes and then stopped. Like, what the hell was wrong with me back then? And then, um, around 2014 or so, I returned to Pokemon Heart Gold and played some of it. Oh, yep, and I played Pokemon Fire Red. <clears throat> and, oh, it's here. It's here. It's totally here. The name raider is right here. I knew it. Now, rename this Pokemon right here. So I'm gonna name this one L. I'll tell you why. Um, nope, it's not a reference to L from Death Note. Though it's kind of ironic, uh, you could say. Because um, I, because I've been very into Death Note lately. Late. In, in fact, I rewatched a bit of episode. What was it? Twenty five? No, twenty four. Well, both this morning. I still don't really understand what Light did there, with like the Death Notes. I, I, it confuses me. Like, why did he pass them around? That makes no sense. Oh, what, I, what was I gonna say? Yeah, 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 so let me just make this story short here. So <clears throat> I remember one time in like in like the sixth grade we had art class and um, I don't know we were outside for some reason and anyway one of one of the people in my class uh, whose name starts with L uh, drew uh, one of uh, either it was Vanillite, Vanillish or Vanillax but he drew one of them. And uh, that's why I... So I've always had it in my mind since then that if I ever play... Gener when I play Generation 5, and I might do a Let's Play of it, <laughs> which I'm doing right now, I'm gonna name it um, after him. So, that's it. Yep, I've uh, visited them. So I have played quite a bit of this game, it seems. Or how much? How many gems? Three? No, four. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't like this game. I don't like Pokemon. So I played Pokemon Fire Red in around 2014, I think. Or actually, it might have been like 2013. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, in 2014, I was also playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for a while. And then I returned to it in like 2016. And I played Pokemon Gold in 2015 and 2016. And then I played... 
a uh, bit of Pokemon Sun and Moon, I think, in or like early 2017, just a little bit. Oh yeah, and then I played more of it in like the summer of 2018. I played more of Pokemon Sun. <sighs> and I also... Um, what? Did I play any other Pokemon in 2017? I don't remember. Did I mention that I returned to Alpha Sapphire? Well, that was in 2016. In 2017, though. What did I play in 2017? I don't know. Well... In 2018, I... In, like, April of 2018, approximately, I played Pokemon Ruby. Now, I'd started that save file er uh, uh, earlier on, I think. And I was in, like, the that first, like, little lava mountain, I guess you call it. Like, it was like a red mountain, you know that. I was kind of in that part of the game, and it's pretty early on. It's, like, three badges or so, and... Then I, I took a break and then I returned to it, and that was in April of 2018, approximately. I remember it was Easter when I was playing it, and that was when I found my first shiny Pokemon. And I very much enjoyed playing Pokemon Ruby, and I did not catch that shiny Pokemon, by the way. Uh, and then, in like May of, 20, May of 2018, approximately, I played Pokemon Crystal, and that's when I found my second shiny. The first of which I caught. It was a shiny Rhyhorn, and uh, the first one was a shiny Hariyama, and and I was playing up. Uh, I was playing it randomized, I think. No, no, no. It wasn't randomized. It was just a Nuzlocke, I think. Well, was it even a Nuzlocke? I don't know what it was. I think it was a Nuzlocke. I don't know. Well, eventually, I did end up cheating with the rare candies, didn't I? I don't know. I wasn't doing that in Pokemon Ruby. I was grinding it out, and that's how I found Hariyama. And that's how I found Rhyhorn as well, uh, when I was playing Pokemon uh, Crystal. See, all my shinies I've found have been whilst uh, super speeding. Yep. And the same thing was when I was in Pokemon Crystal. I was trying to get uh, the Lucky Egg. What's it called? I think it's called the Lucky Egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was I trying to get the Lucky Egg, though? I guess to level up my Clefable quicker. Yeah, 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 because I was training for red. I wanted to, you know, I was training for red and it was very time consuming. It's like, wh why the hell are you doing this? Oh, and I forgot to mention, in uh, December of 2017 approximately, or, uh, yeah, I played Pokemon Red randomized Nuzlocke. Yeah, Pokemon Red. But that was randomized. I've never played a clean Pokemon. Uh, generation 1 game 2 completion. And footage from that Pokemon Red save file you see in my uh, th my hypothesis about Magnemite and Magnemton, why they gained the Steel type. And... Yeah, yeah, and then I don't know when this was, but maybe like approximately June of 2018 or something like that. Uh, maybe it was still in May. No, that seems a bit too ridiculous. No, but it, it would have been, wouldn't it have? Well, when I was trying to get the Lucky Egg speeding up like this uh, en route, the one east of Future City, uh, trying to get the 1% um, Chansey encounter, of which only like 15% have the Lucky Egg. Uh, I found a shiny Hoppip. Yep. So that was my third shiny. So yeah, all of them I found whilst super speeding. But still. Three shinies. I never would have thought. I mean, I was bummed out about not having found any shinies. But I don't know. I was using super speed. That's not really cheating, is it? What is this? Kind of looks like a gym, but is it a Pokemon Center? Yeah. Oh no, what if my, um, I want to check on my computer, but maybe, maybe they also have cringe-inducing nicknames. Uh, about the other nicknames in my party here. Uh, they're not super cringe-inducing. I'm not sure why I named it Arrow, though. Or this one is named Table. It's like tables, like tabs. Tables, this is what Daft Pina calls her. I'm not sure why, but it's pretty funny. Maractus. Why did I catch this? Why am I using this thing? I guess it's kind of cool. Eh. 
And then I have this one named JF Gar Gariepi. And this one is named just JF. Now that I don't understand. Why is this one named JF? This one is named JF Gariepi. That makes no sense. Why did I get the full name for this guy but not this? This one is named Jem. I'm guessing that's like a reference to E semicolon R. He has this running gag of the gems. I, I don't find it very funny. I don't think that was why, what I was thinking either, which just makes it even more stupid. I'm not sure why it's called Gem. That is dumb. I don't want to f bicycle over there to the city again to new rename them though. I should have done it whilst I was there, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep these names. Let me check in the PC and see what I have. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I have so many Pokemon. No, 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 no. I'm used to just depositing and withdrawing because that's the only thing you can do in, in Generation 2. Uh, um, do they have any nicknames? Where do I see the nickname? Oh, there it is. Oh, this one is named Polypus. <laughs> what the hell kind of name is that? YMS, your movie sucks. Why did I name it JonTron? That's dumb. Audio file. Well, that's fine. Femfaldig. Not sure why I named it Femfaldig. Hedy D? What? The hell does that mean? Floodless. This makes absolutely no sense. Black Sun? When did I play this? It feels recent, but maybe it was like... How long ago was this? I was gonna check in the date, but I don't know if it would have that. When did I play this? Why did I give them such stupid nicknames? Black Sun? Ah, oh, Aver the Second. I know that one. I named it after that guy who used to post videos. His account seems to be suspended now. Harvard? That's fine. That's a good nickname. And uh, no, you shouldn't name it ABC Mouse. That would have been better. Nugget, that's dumb. Ongeval, that's cool. Unless that's... Lavegon. Not sure why I named it Onvegal, but that's fine. This one is named Jonathan. Oh, I think I know why, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> that's pretty funny. So anyway, the reason I'm playing Pokemon right now is because I was inspired by uh, Tamashi Hiroka. You see, so this morning I just woke up, and I was just like, you know what, I want to watch that Tamashi Hiroka draw my life. I want to rewatch that one. I used to watch that one a lot back in the day, like 2014, 2015. I've watched it time and time again over the years. It's a very good video. <clears throat> and uh, I just couldn't wait until I had made my breakfast. So I actually watched it whilst I made my breakfast. And I was watching it. Like, it was hilarious uh, when she... <laughs> When she was listing uh, things she got picked on for being, one of them was for being a weeaboo. <laughs> I'm like, that's relatable. <laughs> being a weeaboo. <laughs> and then when she was talking about how, when she um, started doing stuff on the internet, like uploading videos and such, she was like, I was 13 years old and really weeaboo. <laughs> that is hilarious. Very relatable. Really weeaboo. <laughs> now I have mixed feels in, mixed, 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 mixed feelings about the whole thing. I would be honest with you, but I feel like I can't because my parents are watching my videos. <clears throat> I recorded a, a little video this morning after I watched uh, the draw my life, uh, expressing my honest thoughts on it. Uh, I'm not going to show that video though, because it's cringe-inducing. Well, I wouldn't say it's cringe-inducing, but it's 
Uh, my parents are watching my videos, so I'm not going to do it. <coughs> uh, another thing I did, though, was I... I was thinking about uh, Weezer, Say It Ain't So, and I... You know that edgy part of the song? Well... Well, actually... Uh, it came to my head uh, when I was reading the comments, and someone said, Oh, have you spoken to your sister? Um, afterwards, have you spoken to your sister ever, like, lately? Um, afterwards, after she... if you were separated? That that's when I that's when the idea popped into my head, of like it it, it would it would be kind of like the say it ain't so by Weezer. Actually, I'm not sure that's what, I'm not sure that that was when it popped into my head, but whatever. And I um I don't I don't often do lyrics because they're cringe inducing, but uh, this morning I just uh, I I came up with some lyrics on the spot uh, for say it ain't so the edgy part. Uh, but re replacing them to tell the story of Tamashi Hiroka and her sister. Uh, it was pretty good. Good stuff. And you know how I was on the piano trying my best to play the to play the guitar melody. Uh, except I don't know that part where it goes... Well, I do know that last part. But I never bothered couldn't be bothered to learn that part. Oh god. This damn music. This is in Pokemon Showdown. You just know. 2011. Well, that is true. Oh god, I should be going to sleep now. Oh, I can stay up to like 20 to 21 30 or so I guess I will admit that I'm a little bit stupid in the morning um though not like wildly stupid not like they um but not like problematically Stupid. Oh god, no. What am I doing? Rock slide, that's very good. Oh, it's a bug type. Of course. Haha. <laughs> Perfect pick here with the gem. <sighs> I feel cold. Oh really? Where where did vanillaite come from? L So, what was I going to say? Well, that was pretty much it. So I, I made up some lyrics about Tamashi Hiroka and her sister to the Say It Ain't So before the main guitar melody, also known as a guitar solo, but <laughs> I don't like using that word. <clears throat> Which is quite dumb of me. Well, you see, yeah, I had mixed feelings about that whole thing, um, and I'm not going to get into it, because my parents are watching my videos. Uh, what I can say, though, is that I... <clears throat> I always did, um... It's not even worth getting into. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Fendus? Shut 
hot up fenders no 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 run Gem isn't very fast is she ah who's the fastest Ah, so it's arrow. Why am I using arrow still? I guess for the HM. <laughs> well, you see... Well, the pain seems to have mostly subsided by now in my hands, that is. A fungus! A fungus! Yeah, I don't like fungus. Ah, tranquil. Might want to have this one actually. Yeah, I'd prefer it to arrow. That's for sure. Uh, the problem is that you need them for HMs. That's the problem. Uh, I hate my life. Well, my main point is just that. Well, okay, so I was inspired anyway by uh, Tamashi Hiroka um, to play some Pokemon. You, you know, it's like the way she makes it sound is like, oh wow, that's awesome. Like I said, it's a very good video. Uh, and and she made kind of like a follow-up video. I don't know if you could call it a follow-up video, but about how Pokemon has um, or Pokemon slash the the friends she's made through Pokemon through the internet. I guess. Oh, I have Quick Balls. How the friends she's made in like through Pokemon or whatever <clears throat> have have changed her life for so much the better. It's like, man. She makes it sound like that and it's like, well, man, I wish I could have that, you know? It's like, no, no, no. Where there is no war, what? what? Uh, oh, what am I gonna name it? Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna name it, name it, um, uh, I'm gonna name it Mass Production Evangelion. Uh, speaking of which, Um, Tamashi Hiroka likes Neon Genesis Evangelion, it's like a third favorite anime. So that's one thing we share in common. Except that it's my, I call it my favorite. Uh, if it's only our third favorite. Well, at least she admitted that Sailor Moon is garbage, I can tell you that. You know, she 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 admitted that Sailor Moon, the anime, the anime Sailor Moon is actually just garbage, even despite that it was her favorite anime. And I mean, I watched I've watched AP eighteen episodes of Sailor Moon, and I completely agree. It is just garbage. Well, anywho. You know, I, 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 I gave that video a dislike three years ago because um, I don't like emotional stuff. Those drawings are very good. I like the art style. I, I mean, I like... The thing is, I, I, I really do like that kind of style. But I just 
Well, it rubs me the wrong way at the same time, so I give it a dislike. You could say that I'm not being, um... You could say that I'm lying to myself. What the hell? Swadloon? Oh my god. That music scares me. It's an Audino. Ah, that music scared me. <laughs> it's like, it's like a... It's like a... It's like a legendary beast encounter in Pokemon Crystal. Or Gold, for that matter. No, wait, but Gold didn't even have any special music, did they? Uh, I have so many strange memories. Stuff I've done. Oh, it's crazy, the things I've done. I hate this. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Well, I don't have the pains on my hands to uh, complain about anymore. Oh, oh, I hate my life. Oh, I hate my life. Oh, I hate my life. I want to say things, but I can't because my parents watch my videos. Oh no. I can't. Can't do it. I can't. I'm tired. I'm tired of... I'm tired of censoring myself. No, I look at... Oh yeah, last night I was listening to Amos Yee's videos. A couple of them. Uh, Rewatching that one that way you should drop out of school. And um, then I... On autoplay, because I was just lying in my bed uh, messing around with the... My electronics by the bed. <clears throat> autoplay brought me to his video he made about... I don't know, the love interests he'd had. Uh, which was very interesting as well, and it just made me realize almost he has so much more balls than me. And uh, speaking of which, he invited me to his Discord server the other day, or actually today. It's like, damn, I never thought I'd be speaking to Amos. I never thought this would happen. This is crazy. Not that I'll idolize him or anything, heavens no. He's crazy, I tell you. Crazy. Ah. Uh, you know that's you know that's just a lie, right? I'm just pretending to think of him as a low person, insane. Like that is just so goofy. Like, what are you even doing? Oh, I hate video game. Za. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have a speech impediment. <laughs> I have a speech impediment. I'm crazy. I'm the clown. I'm a clown. You know, the reason why I said clown at, uh, that I'm the clown at the beginning... I've just... <laughs> I just found I just find this clown thing really hilarious. Like <laughs> I find this clown emoji thing hilarious. <laughs> like <laughs> like if someone is just saying something really dumb on the internet, you respond with a clown emoji. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> like that clown expression. I just think it's hilarious. I just think it's hilarious that you're characterizing them as a clown. <laughs> 
I guess like the first time I came into contact with that stuff. Remember when uh, Etika was still alive and he was posting on Twitter? He was posting some crazy stuff. And you know, I truly believed that he was he mentally healthy. That he was just... He was just kind of a different... That he just had a crazy personality, pretty much. I didn't think that he was mentally ill. But maybe that just shows my ignorance. Well, anyway, people would respond to him with, like... Not exactly clown emojis, but, like, well... Pictures. Sh conveying the same clown message. Because uh, people always respond with pictures to Etika, like hentai stuff. Uh, like, for instance, there was one pic one person who drew over, like, uh, drew, like, uh, clown features on top of a picture of Etika. And stuff like that. And when then when Etika committed suicide, everyone, people were like, oh, if you, if you, if you, if you were one of the people, you know, responding, you know, with this clown stuff to him, then you are you are, um, then you are responsible for his, uh, suicide. Well, anyway, the point being, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. Look at me. Look at me scouring the grass here. Not my front. Or what's it called? Yeah, I think it's called a front. My front is that I, um, that I'm uh, seeing here if there's like a 1% probability Pokemon in here, which is like super rare, but they're available kind of like how they did in the Pokemon Gold on the route east of Fuchsia City with a 1% uh, chancy. So I'm just seeing if there's one of those here. But the real reason I'm scouring this grass right here, well, Partly it's because I like video games in which I don't have to be act acting, actively thinking. I'm doing this mindlessly so that I can speak to you instead. But the real reason I'm doing this right now is to find shiny Pokemon. <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, oh, you think you do this enough times you're gonna find a shiny? <laughs> well, I guess. Maybe it's possible. I don't know. Well, it's something which is easing my mind at the moment, at least. Maybe I should go to another route, because there don't seem to be any more Pokemon in here, which I haven't seen already. This one, let me Google this one. This one kind of looks nice. What does it evolve into? I could probably use this thing even if it doesn't evolve into anything cool. Oh, it evolves into something really stupid. I think I'm just gonna keep the... Keep it as it is. It's a normal type, right? Okay, well, let's use a quick ball. Yes. Ah, oh, the quick ball is one of the best balls in the game. Ah, oh, what am I gonna name it? Uh, huh, huh. What am I gonna name it? Well, I could just name it D uh, Died Man. Dead Man. What am I gonna name it? What's on my mind lately? What's on my mind lately? What's in the others? Should I name it? I'm gonna name it.
Okay, I know what I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it... Sautéed radishes. <clears throat> so Yeah I, ca I can't say it I can't say it because my father's gonna watch it, and it's like, oh. Well, I guess I can't say it. I can't say it! <sighs> I can't do it. I can't do it, Almas. I can't. I can't do it. I've got nothing to do. The top. Oh my god, that scares me so much. The time is passing slow. I need to make an inbred review again. Under Coffer or the Underachievers want it. The clock, the, the, ah, my mind is my worst enemy. Oh yeah, I was playing the drums yesterday to some Pokemon Ruby music. And uh, last night when I was making, um, um, bagel with cream cheese, which is also what I have this morning. Had the, uh, this morning. I was listening to the Pokemon Ruby music, uh, or rather the surf music from Pokemon Ruby. And uh, this morning, I told you I was listening to. I was watching Tamashi Hiroka's "Draw My Life" whilst making the f making the food. My worst enemy. My worst enemy. I'm leaving. This has gone too far. Man, this music is pretty cool. Do it. I can't do it, Almos. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I can't speak my mind. Because my father's gonna watch this. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, don't you just love reading 4chan threads, though? Um, I read some archived 4chan threads. Now, if only I weren't banned from 4chan, then maybe I could participate too. Though I'm not 18 years old yet, so I probably shouldn't be on 4chan anyway. Because it's against the rules. Out of respect for them. Uh, 
I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> That's right. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. Oh, nice. I can't do it. I can't. Oh, I hate being a. I hate. I hate being. I. I hate. I hate being a. I hate being a cop. I hate being a cop. Uh, uh, oh, I hate this. Uh, 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 uh. Clay. That sounds familiar. The underground boss. What do you mean underground? NWA. <laughs> Just kidding. They did say that they would come... It did say that it was coming straight from the underground, though. I don't know what that was all about. Uh, I hate this. Uh, I hate being... Uh, I hate being... <laughs> I hate being a freak show. I hate being a clown. I hate... I hate this. I hate this. No. No. Oh yeah, that's right. Knock off, for instance, or item swaps. Oh yeah, that's right. Horoscope. Gotharita. Oh no, this is some this is some woo woo nonsense. Oh, I hate this, I hate this. I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh, I hate this. Oh, no. This video is in 360p. Which means that... It hopefully won't take very long to uh, render. I mean, it still take longer than the Pokemon Glazed, but... Which was in 240p, but... Eh, hopefully this should be quick enough. That maybe I can even upload this before I go to sleep. That just eases my conscience. I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I have. I sure have. Many a times. <clears throat> I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a creep. <laughs> I'm a clown. I'm a freak. I'm a freak show. I'm a creep. I'm a clown. I'm a sheep. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Uh, oh, I hate this material world. I hate this material world. It is so filthy. It is so filthy. It is extremely filthy. But I'm the filthiest of them all. I'm a creep. I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. I'm a creep. Yeah, yeah. I'm a creep. 
<laughs> I'm a creep. I am a creep. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 a creep. I'm a clown. I'm a freak show. I'm asleep. I'm a sheep. Hello, Mr. Durante. This is a surprise. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I don't... I, I can't quote it exactly. I'm gonna Google it. I can't quote it verbatim, as they say. Because he, he goes on rants about a bunch of different stuff. <clears throat> what am I doing here? You ask me. It's mutiny. That's what it is. I come a million miles, a million of them, to see this London people, and this is what I get. It's mortifying, that's what it is. This George fella singing on bananas. Bananas without any bones. What do you suppose he's referring to? There's only one banana worth singing about, and that's caught on me. So don't quote me on that. It's mortifying. It's mutiny. It's a disgrace. That's what it is. Ah! Um, what does he say? I forget. I'm not gonna turn it on because I'm um, copyright. No, it was in 36. How can it still have copyright? Oh, maybe it does. Well. Whatever, you would be able to hear it anyway if I turn it on, so... Wouldn't be any... Point in trying to reenact it, would there be? Oh, don't let you... Ah, uh, what does he say afterwards? Don't let it get you, Mr. Durante. Listen to George sing his chor sing this chorus. Well, don't let it get you, Mr. Durante. Listen to George, sing this chorus. I call the famous folksmen, even they are known. They like their bananas, cause they have not in a bone. It's everybody's sweetness. It might be, uh, don't you like bananas? Cause they never any bone. When there's something in bananas that gives you that strange feeling. Nobody can resist them. They are self-peeling. Ha! They all eat bananas, because they have not only ball. Okay, I think that might be one of the most cringe-inducing things I've ever done. Just kidding. I say that as some kind of, like, um, protection against myself, if it turns out that I do find that cringe-inducing in the future. Because at least I was self-aware when I said it, huh? I've tried that before and it did not work. Like, uh, well, when did I try that? Well, I tried that in the Mega Man 2 Let's Play when I sang Crash Man's theme. I tried to, but... Yeah, because it was just absurd, because it wasn't cringe-inducing. So, that's what makes it bad when I try to... Oh, hey, see, I do recognize that it's cringe-inducing. When it's not even really cringe-inducing, so... Just make yourself look like, like a fool. And I am a fool, and I'm a creep, and I'm a sheep, and I'm a freak show, and I'm a clown. <coughs> oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. It's like... It's like I can't decide between which side is the proper one, the dark side or the bright side, and I can't decide which one is... which one I should turn to. Let's say that the, um... Uh, who would represent the dark side? Well, that would be like me now, because pretty much I derive my ideology from no one, no one but me. Because I don't, I haven't found anyone who reflects my thoughts exactly. Like some people seemingly have entire groups of peach people which reflect about the same opinions off of each other. You know, like religions and, um... And like um, groups like the incels and like the what else? Like the intersectional feminists, for instance. 
Well, I have no such group. Uh, instead, I've derived my thoughts from um, various sources. And... And it's a concoction, and it's me. Uh, well, that's just a fragile, like, ego, as they say. What, what does, um... What does Uncle Adam say? There's only one person who I'm supposed to be, and that's me. It's a bonus if they notice me. I make music and use it... I make money... I make music and use it to buy my groceries. Groceries. Nowadays, I'm even moving units overseas. Well, that's besides the point. Well, Uncle Adams also says, My god, your iPod needs an intervention. Look at you, doing that just because your friend did. Be yourself and make your decisions independent. See, and I, I subscribe to that. And yet here I am, letting myself be affected by other people. That's why I'm not speaking up right now. It's pathetic. You're a clown. I'm not even going to say it, because then people are going to get f funny ideas about me. Like they have in the past. It wouldn't be the first time someone's accused me of being some kind of crazy person. I can tell you that. It's so ridiculous. All this prejudice. Well, I can see where they're coming from. I guess I do sound quite insane in this video in these vi in this video. Now I can't decide upon if I want to split these into like six parts or if I want to have this all in one video. I don't know. Well, Pokemon is kind of fun, just running around like this, <laughs> and I have the, I have the, I have the audacity to say the Pokemon games are boring. Well, look at me. Well, I guess if I weren't recording right now, this would be pretty boring. Ah, uh, I can't speak my mind because my father's gonna watch this video or my mother. My parents are gonna watch this video, so I can't. I can't do it! I can't! I can't do it! And you know, the problem is with me. The problem is that I'm ashamed. The problem is that I'm ashamed. Well, see, this goes back to the thing I was saying about I can't decide whether I should turn to the light side or the dark side. Um, and the dark side would be represented by well, let well, I don't want to say brain cells uh, the incels, rather, because they are too extreme. I would never, I would never subscribe to their ideology. But it's kind of in that in that direction. Well, see, yeah. Well, that's why I started saying that. Oh, well, it's a concoction of ideas I've gathered. It's not any like collection which I've seen before, like religions, incels, intersectional feminists. You know, I have my own ideas, <laughs> or so I think. Well, that's why I'm saying. 
So I don't know what to say. Like, I, I, it would be convenient to just say, oh, you know, the dark side is the incels, but I don't think I'm anywhere close to there. Let's just say, let's just say, um, let's just say black pill, because that's, well, no, it's not really all that gen general, because there is, is a, like an actual definition on on the wiki, on the wiki. Okay, let's just say, um, well, let's just say this pessimism that I have currently about all these things. Okay, let me just let me just tell you what the bright side is, and maybe you'll see my point. The bright side is like Tamashi Hiroka. The message Tamashi Hiroka pre preaches in her video about of the twentieth twentieth Pokemon anniversary. See, this the thing. The, just listen to the kind of shit she says. <laughs> That's an Arsene Bjork reference. Well, she was saying, you know, all these, you know, all these things that I don't really subscribe to. Like, oh, you know, having friends, and I'm like, well, why should I have friends? What's, what's so, why should I only feel happy with friends? I mean, shouldn't I be enlightened and feel happy by myself? Isn't that the enlightened thing to be? can't rely on friends for my happiness. That would be unenlightened. See, that's the uh, mindset I have currently. And then Tamashi Hiroka is like the bright side. It, it's this general... Um, you know, I, I would call it like a normie attitude. And I have um, tried to resist that, you see. Wait, can you even get Bo Groudon in both Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire? No, you can't. But in Pokemon Gold and Silver, you could get both both Ho-Oh and Lugia. The version difference was when you got them. Or when you could, was, when you were able to battle them. Uh, I believe. In Pokemon Gold, you fight ho -Oh when you're about, like, level 40. Or when ho -Oh is, like, level 40. And then Lugia is level 70, I think. And then in Pokemon Silver, it's reversed. Lugia is level 40 and ho -Oh is level 70. I think that's how it is. Ah, uh, the point is, I hate my life. What am I doing with my life? I'm a freak show, I'm a creep, I'm a clown. I'm a sheep. I'm asleep. No, I'm not. I only slept five hours last night. Well, no, I slept more than that. I slept like five hours and a half. Look at what time it is. You can see what time it is. For me. Shouldn't I be going to sleep? Oh, I hate this. I hate this so. I think I'm just gonna quit now. Pretty much, um, you could call it the blue pill versus the red pill. And Tamashi Hiroka has the blue pill. And I have the red pill. Um, though not, not, I'm not referring to how classically blue pill and red pill are defined. Well, kind of. Partly. Partially. Maybe a little bit. But it's more like blue pill versus black pill in that case. You know, when Tamashi Hiroka says things like, Oh, you know, you have a value in this world. You have someone out there. Someone out there. Out of all the people in this world, someone out there is going to see value in you. 
Well, I see it as, oh yeah, 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 people are going to see value in me. As a slave? <laughs> yeah, sure, they could get value out of me. If I were their slave, literal physical laboring slave, like, you know, like straight up, straight up the USA in the, in the early 1800s is what I'm talking. That's the value someone could see in me. Ah, it is an internal, internal discord within me, or whatever you call it, discourse, battle within my head. Ah, oh, I hate my life. Look at this, look at this, look at this, um, oh yeah, I was going to tell you about that too, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So two nights ago, I had a crazy, crazy dream. Oh, it was so crazy. And I remember, I only remember clearly one part of the dream, which was my dream was trying to convince me that using the N word was wrong. <laughs> and it was trying to show me like stories of, you know, of black people being treated badly and, 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 the, and the perpetrators were using the N word. My dream was literally trying to convince me uh, that the N word is bad. <laughs> It's crazy how my dreams... It's like I'm having a debate with my dream. Except there wasn't a debate. The uh, same thing happened one time. I One time... Um, in another dream, a little Swedish girl was got mad at me for... Because I said the N-word. <laughs> my, my dreams are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, though some of them are not really ridiculous but just sad at how accurately they reflect my um insecurities slash anxieties slash yeah in uh in real life you know people say oh you know dreams have no meaning well they do actually uh dreams can reflect your worries very accurately they have in my case because i know what my worries are and i see them uh depicted in my dreams and it's no oh. I'm not going to get into detail about that, though. Or partially, partially my excuse is that my parents are watching my videos. So I don't want. You know, so I, it's like they say, "Oh well, you don't tell us nothing." But then, you know, when we go watch the video, then you tell us something. Well, it's like it's not intended for you, you know. Can't you respect that? But, well, then of course, you know, of course, if I'm uploading it to the internet, then um, I can't expect them not to watch it. I do recognize that. Though I think, out of respect, they could uh, abstain. Oh, I'm gonna go catch myself a Mew. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Okay, I'm gonna quit now because I need to go. You know, in the bathroom. Quite badly. So, uh, I, I'm a clown. <laughs> uh, I think probably I just, uh, okay, farewell. <laughs>